Hello guys and welcome to this new video. In this video I'll be talking about white gaps and how to build them. I'm going to pre uh, present you five different types of uh, white gaps and I'm going to explain the one simple technique that you can apply for each one of them. So let's get started with uh, four, s four triangles uh, forming kind of a half moon. What you want to do is place a triangle square triangle. So the reason why you're doing this is because you want this triangle to be facing back in between the walls towards the base then you go two squares a triangle, a triangle a half moon, square, square, and there you go this is your white gap as you can see we're going to apply this to every single one so for number two we're going to place two triangles have this triangle facing inwards again two squares tap it off half moon, There you go, you have a white gap. Let's keep going. So this one is uh, three triangles. So basically default honeycomb. You want to go triangle, triangle, triangle. So you have this one facing back towards the base. It's the closest triangle possible. Two squares, cap it off. Come on, triangles. There you go. Please don't forget to connect the white gaps to a TC because that's not okay. There you go, white gap. This one's a bit more complex. This one is uh, five triangles with a triangle on it. So you have double triangle gaps basically. What you want to do is triangle, triangle, triangle. You have the triangle facing towards the base so you know you're ready. Two squares, cap it off. This one is a bit difficult. You have to do like, like a crab, it goes around. This is your white gap. Just pull it up so you can see. There you go, default white gaps. Lastly, we have double square white gaps. Same thing here square, triangle, square, triangle. This one's facing back. It's the closest triangle possible. This one's uh, a bit different. So as you can see, off your triangle facing towards the base, you want to place two squares and then triangles all around. So just build this up so you have a better view. There you go, you have your white gaps. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, just quick and easy. I hope you learned the technique, this technique you can use for anything. So it's really good to know it. Uh, anyways, if you guys liked the, uh, liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya!